What comes natural for me is sitting down and being an architect. People think of architects as a maker of blueprints as opposed to a maker of spaces. None of us go into this for money. You know, we'd probably be lawyers or doctors. Subsidized housing and low-income housing became the impetus for starting this firm. This is definitely the, the new age of cities. There are more people now living in cities than living in rural areas. It's really about um, assembling a body of work that together tell a story. You're seeing small firms, medium-sized firms, doing incredible work. What would it be to have control and also a little bit less control? Wouldn't that be exciting too? Traditionally, the architect is engaged by a developer once the land is secured, um, but we're pushing on that. We're pushing to have that relationship be cultivated more long-term and earlier. We purchase the land ourselves, we raise the capital, we build the building ourselves, and we control the economics and the physical reality of the building. It really kind of goes beyond just architecture in the traditional sense. I think that we're looking beyond the building, making community design decisions and connections that can make the buildings much better and more connected for the people. In about five to 10 years, you won't be able to tell what's social housing and what's market housing. It'll be totally integrated. When you see how a building's being supported, there's a comfort and there's a legibility that is, uh, I, I feel like, puts people at ease. There's a lot of talk of like the kind of globalism of certain types of architecture, and there's this kind of like false conflict of like regional versus like global architects, but we're just trying to find or develop our authentic voice. Architecture is a very natural profession for women. I sit in huge meetings, you know, with base building architects and engineers, and and there's so many women at the table. I, I kind of look around, and it's it's becoming quite noticeable. If you show that you're extremely capable and you work hard and you're talented, you're gonna rise up.